figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Ooh. I guess you'll just have to wait and see what happens in the next one. Hey. So, I don't actually have the intro to this one, so. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I just, I just chose Dave. I thought it'd be safer. Anyways, enjoy the video. But, it ended for some reason. I don't know why. Did here, because I want to be safer. I want to protect my, my character. But I also, I don't know. Because I feel like the game's gonna do a switcheroo and tell me that Chloe's bad and David is an angel. And I feel like deep down what he was trying to do, because we couldn't hear anything, so I feel like the game is gonna like trick us and be like, oh yeah, David was actually being really good. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? I don't like your tone, Chloe. I don't like your tone. Hmm. You know what? Oh, I feel like I should leave up a decision. Ooh, who do I choose? Uh, who do I choose? Who do I choose? How do I figure out who to choose? I'm indecisive. That's why I hate these games. I mean, I love this game actually. I'm gonna go up. I guess I'm not gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna stay down here. And. Well, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Hmm. I feel like the more I get under Chloe's skin, though. Also, when did the top of her hair be purple? Did she wear a hat or something? She did wear a hat. Hey, that's me. Okay. Okay, this is cheating, but I'm gonna Google what happens if you side with David. Because I'm super conflicted and I don't know what to do. You're right. Okay, the more. So, someone on Reddit, some kind soul, said. I didn't really read most of it, but. You're not tearing into Chloe as much as you're tearing into David. And. I'd rather, like not tear into David as much as well, no I'd rather tear less than tear more I, I, we're leaving is what I'm saying I'm gonna let it off of that listen when I went through David's laptop I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends <laughs> right no way Max she was just posing to tease Frank if you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? 
motherfucker. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You better not have anything for his sake. You take it well. Let's check the door. Diner a lot, though. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. <sighs> it looks like cookies. What are you doing? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Ship. Yeah, we're gonna pause for a second. All right, I'm back. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh... And just... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. Okay, here's the plan. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. And, uh, and just... And then you rewind after you get the key. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. And, uh, and just... Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Here's a dog. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Yeah. What? I swear, I put you down. Are you moving on your own? Okay, um... Is that a button? Um, anywho. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Well, you don't know about that. You don't know. I was trying to read a message. Hmm. Good hey, there it Lord. is. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Alright, okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get a school tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Freaking nerds. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking ins- Ugh. I didn't mean to do that, but... I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> you have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Hey, wait You're a minute. lucky I just took that gun from you. Yeah, I'm kind of matching with the blue and the... Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, look, Max Amber, nice outfit. 
By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled. I like how everyone thinks I'm racial for a minute. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Oh wow. <clears throat> Who do I want to talk about? Drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. They'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. I'm not done. It's slower, but I don't have to work. Rachel. Uh, Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. All right. I'm just trying to gather a bunch of info. Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. What do you mean, or me? Why? So you can pretend to care? Oh. Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. All he is is ever rage. Hello? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Rewind so it's like this conversation never happened. Ooh, food coming. The cop. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. All right. Got a lot of... Ooh, and we're going to talk about Rachel and Frank. Let's talk about David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Doc. I'm glad. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. That is true. Such a waste. Awful. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I feel like David Madsen rep. We already saw that. I understand if we. What can I do for you, Max? Okay, so I can still talk to you. How about Weird Town? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. 
Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. Let me rewind. I, I wasn't done. That. I'll need to roll. What can I do for you, man? Uh, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. <clears throat> Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Can I still talk to you? What can I do for you, man? Um, Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? I mean, he saved a dog, so... What can I do for you, Max? Um, nothing. Um, postcards, let's take a look. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Oh, a little kitty cat. Into the kitchen. Oh, that's not the kitchen. You killed Kate. Maybe we all did. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Uh, Rachel Amber owes me a BJ. Oh, so does your mom. Oh, that's a lot. Shit. The seventh sign. The what are the sky. other signs then? Because of what? Because Shit. of. What are the other it, signs it. then? Oh, hey! Wait. Someone's drawing these. Arcadia Gay Sucks deck. Um. Oh, is this for both? extreme weather patterns no but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather that doesn't explain everything of course frankly we don't know yet dr hedora will your team know more after their latest tests i hope we see more patterns which gives us an atmospheric template okay the residents of arcadia bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather we had an eclipse yesterday a snowstorm I don't think climate change you know could really affect this time of year. a clip to be honest with you uh, the last An time eclipse. we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago all of us are questioning mm -hmm. what is happening in Arcadia Bay please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been what you think this might be is this global warming what is causing all of this crazy weather Um, speak. Uh, save dogs. Can I say the... By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Yeah, I didn't think he'd ever sell me anything. Off.
What is all that noise? Debt. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Mm, get me save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. What you gonna do about it? Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Well, let me rewind actually before I talk to him. My work here is done here, Frank. But, okay, fine. I wanted to hear all the commentary. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Anyways, let's go back to the RV. Where is Chloe? What do you got there, Chloe? Oh, a bone. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Interesting. Get the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have to- no, I don't him. want to risk it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. No. No. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. Oh wait, no. Okay. Let me at least see. Here. Let me throw towards the road and then look. I'll check. Oh, let's see. I was supposed to take a photo at some point. Oh, there's so many things I missed. Isn't there? Um, truck. Look. I'd love to do a whole... Big rig photo series. Is there anything on that side? Probably not. Wait, what's that guy look like? Oh, he's got a flannel shirt. Photo? Speak. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? 
Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. Like that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Now let's see, hold on here. Hey. Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. <gasps> she sure didn't give a rat's ass give about photo, truckers. Give me a photo. Give me a photo. Oh, give me a oh, photo. So you must have known her too. Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Uh, how would I take photos? Let's talk about my photo shoot later. Ten four. Okay. Now let's save the doggy because I'm sure that doggy's not okay. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. I'd rather him be busy than him get ran right over. Yes. Hey, no photo girl. Hey. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, I skipped ahead of some dude. Maybe. And a bird. Was there a dude in here? Hey, I'm wearing a flannel shirt now. Hold on. Wait, that's right. Mirror. Mirror. Mirror? Mirror? Oh. Okay, what did... Spoilers for next one. Anyways, um, that is a hundred percent me, and then a birdie. Oh, I think we're late. I think we're supposed to do that at the house. Oh, I'm gonna do a run. At one point, might be recorded, might not be, of me getting all the photos. Oh, let's go pop the puppy. Look at that cutie. Oh, that snuggly. Bird. What is going on here? It's a bird. Okay, so what else do I need? A guy and some girl. Guy's probably a trucker. And we need ant and a feather. That might be in here. <clears throat> Let's take a look. 
It'd be nice if Chloe was the lookout or Damn. if I was lookout. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, sure about but he's that? not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? My nose is Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Baseball black. You scope the area while I hack Bat. this computer for info. Knife, nothing special. Covered. Frank is almost a maid. No prize here. Um, police radar. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Um. Ooh. Drinking while driving. Let me take a look at. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Uh, dog food. Happy wife out here. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Yeah, doggy bowl. Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Cupboard. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Absolutely. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Oh, I will regret this. Of course, Frank gets the munchies. Oh, it's a candy bar. Um, uh, baggies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Um. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I mean, he's not that, he's not good, but he's not that terrible, I guess. Is Frank going to deal online now? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Ooh, Frank's stash. Oh, I thought you were thinking about taking it. I was about to say no. No more secrets. We'll check the other cupboards. Um, sink, hi-fi, a knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Oh, yeah, then. I can't believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. What? Secret journal. Oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch. <clears throat> and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I've had. I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. R.A. <clears throat> I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. 
Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. That was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way. I think it's a good last time. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you. Uh, so maybe we need a we need to break our routine. XO Ray. R-A. Hmm. <clears throat> now why would you hide that? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody! Chloe! I wonder if I should try to censor it. No, because. Nah. So he knows. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up. Grow up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know? Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. But... Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Am I gonna go to school yet or what? When do I get to go to school? I can't tell which one is Max and which one is, uh, Chloe. Uh, couldn't figure out the name. Oh my god. What is happening now? I can rewind through photos? Polarized. I'm sorry to pause it, but. Oh no, I can't see. Next one is polarized. Whoa. 
I get to rewind so far back. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. <gasps> I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here, yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Serve us Am I that far back in time? That is so cool. France, they call them I'm 18 years old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? Hey, I volunteer so to break the eggs. Cool. Do you remember how many? Um, Mom said it ten. That's true. The so couch is moved. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. Press, press start. I am when your mom's away. Wow. DVD. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. I know I've seen those pictures before. You're gonna die. Joyce loves William so much. What are your promotion, Waffles? Whoa. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Whoa. We're going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. No. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. No. I love you. No, I'm, I'm... I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Find his keys. Hide his keys. Where are his keys? Where are his keys? Better grab his keys before he grabs uh -huh. his keys. You can't hide from. Yes. You go away. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Score. Oh, my keys. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You Wonder where the college fund. Wonder keys. where the keys are. What you making? Making some eggs? Can I be some eggs? Am I delicious? Keys. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're an OG if you understand that You're joke. bankrupting me. What you making? Make some soup. Gotta be some soup. My delicious. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just. Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. No, you won't. You won't be alive. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. About that, Chloe. So I can fix this. I'm gonna save William. He'll be grateful for Um, where do I hide the keys? I gotta Shit, hide the key somewhere. Keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. You'll never know. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? I gotta find a no better... Chloe and Matt.
You're bankrupting me. Yeah, let me run far back so I can figure out where to put it. I need to hide the keys so William won't hear his dumb beeper. So how many eggs? Um, don't Boom. you dare question. Disconnected. Right. Like the oh, real cup I'd, here. Oh. No, I'm gonna hide I'm keys in the cereal box just in case. I'll let her know that. Because who would look in a cereal box for their keys? Ooh, snow globe. That's a cool snow dough. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course Where else I could I hide it? Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Hmm. Love you. That's too low detailed for me to hide it in the heater. Excuse me, ladies. I, I have to go burn it in the fire. At the save mart. She so if the cereal doesn't work, grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> good. But you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. That's a dollar, dollar for, for the swear jar. jar. Another, Another dollar, dollar for, for the swear jar. jar. Um. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> I drew something there. I know, but if I flecked, I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no. Nope. Boom. Like Boom. Disconnected. Disconnected. Now we throw it in the fire I so we can never leave. Are you kidding me? I'll let her know that. Not the jar. Can we throw it outside? Yes. Out of sight, out of mind. Literally, we can't see out there. Oh. <gasps> Cutscene. That means we did it right. I forgot they do that sometimes. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries, and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Oh, Joyce will love this. I wonder if that still kills him. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Still happened anyway. Or did it? I saved the father. She has a backpack. No, she doesn't. They never got married. And this never happened. No, that happened. That never happened. And she's got a cool car. Ooh! I just changed the entire story. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me about Oregon. Max, what am I wearing? But Never, like Maxine. So that's why I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? What are you all doing next to me? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? No! Eh, it's fine. I saved a human oh, being. No. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Yeah, you messed with Chloe's entire life. 
Watch your walk off. Madsen is... Mr. Madsen is a bus driver now? after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Save the dad. She might be all screwed up, but at least I saved her dad. At least no one's dead. Did Kate die? Did I bring Kate back? No thing. Oh, it's probably gonna be a Chloe has David's gun. Nice. Oh my god, 49%. Uh, I didn't click. Cl I'm the 23%. Okay. Because Chloe and Rachel would be a better match. And Max and Warren would be a better match. Because Rachel and Chloe are pretty much the same. Max is nerdy and hippie. Not... Uh, gangster and I'm in the 19% Ooh, this might not have been my best run the 7% let Frank's dog die pretty much oh yeah that's bumping, I'm ready for that. Beach, computer, gun. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one.
Goodbye.